Well, guys, this is it. The final countdown to our departure. It's just a few days away. Uh, we've got a lot to do before we're ready to go. Mostly pack the camper, get all of our tools and fun toys and things all ready to go, um, and put the house away. We're not going to be here for eight weeks, so this is really exciting. Um, eight weeks on the road full time. There's a few mods and some other setup issues that I'm going to take care of too before we hit the road. So I'll show you those as we're getting ready. We got all the swim stuff. Swim oh, stuff. look at that. Snorkels, flippers, little bags of fun, masks, kite. towels, kites. That's a fun little storage area. That's right. All right, let's get to the beach. So here's the little DVD player mount that just came in the mail. And we've got this Seahoyt mini DVD player that hooks by HDMI, HDMI cable right into the TV with a little USB. We're thinking of mounting it like right here, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to take this wall panel off to make sure we're not drilling into something strange. I guess that's probably the best place, you think? Mm -hmm. I do think it's the best place, honestly. Okay, all right. Well, that yeah. makes sense to me. This panel's never come off before. Ooh, Ooh look at all that. <laughs> kind of sloppy, actually. Wow. Huh? But we, we'll be fine drilling into here. Yeah. And this, my friends, is how the camper is made. It's just screwed in. It's not even got anything on the back to hold it in. Oh yes, I like this solution. That looks great. Perfect. So I am organizing the pantry in the camper and our backpacking food. And once again, it looks like we have quite a bit of food and I don't think we're gonna run out. This is all our dehydrated backpacking meals. We have not put any meals together. It's just been so incredibly busy that we haven't had a chance to do it, but we made some dehydrated mushrooms and onions and zucchini. This is a ridiculous bag from Costco. This, this is the snack bag that I put in the back of the truck when we're driving to nibble on things. So there's more to go. And I will take you out to the camper. Um, anyway, here is our hodgepodge pantry. I, I know Mike is going to be absolutely thrilled about this, but I don't know. It looks like a mess. It's a lot of fluff. And I installed these lights on each shelf. And I got quite a bit of yummy foods. Oops. Uh -oh. Down here is the cutlery and Ziploc bags and things. Yeah, so these work pretty good. Clean sheets, clean duvet. Then sheets are clean. We don't do all of ours, but he needs to come out here and mess with his bunk. We ordered all of this Thrive freeze-dried food. So I'm just assembling it into backpack-friendly, uh, shelf-stable. Um, meals and I've got some of our lasagna you might remember that from Tilikum last year and I'm making some steak enchiladas and maybe something else I'm not sure plus filling all our uh, spice rack little uh, containers and then all of these freeze-dried ingredients we'll put down here in this little dinette Haida storage place and I put this little zip tie uh, makeshift handle so we can get in and out of there pretty quick. That's our secret stash of meals and ingredients. Another new thing we've got going on, new tires for the Tundra. 
the other tires we had on here weren't terribly old, but our um, our tire shop was having trouble balancing them. They said there might be a manufacturer defect. We figured let's just go ahead and get some knobbier, fun tires. One thing to be sure we don't forget, tools. So we have a lot of tools that we just keep in here, but some we don't have duplicates for the camper in the house. So things like wrenches, Teflon tape, I'm gonna make sure we've got things in here. I'll show you basically what we've got. We've got a lot of really useful things that we carry along with us. All right, here we've got just a bunch of random, <laughs> not really random, but you know, Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Tape, WD-40, little tub of, it's not really cottage cheese, it's a bunch of spare screws. This Gorilla Gel Glue is so useful for putting in screws, for holding things together that are falling apart. This, this is really useful. I'm sure we'll never go through all of these fuses, but perhaps we have enough to rescue some other people on the road. Um, this is kind of all of the most common uh, fuses, fuse types for both the Tundra and the camper. Over here we've got the actual tools and <laughs> kind of a mess going on here. Uh, wrenches, tin snips, scissors, some electrical stuff, more wrenches. <laughs> In here, oh this is a fun thing, we've got our grill and our charcoal and all our camp chairs and badminton torque wrench this is going so lots of tools a couple episodes ago when we installed our bike rack we came to the realization that it will completely block us from taking our propane cover off so uh, one of our viewers recommended something he had done and that's to replace all these riveted connections on our propane cover to wing nut connections so now when we're changing out the propane cover, we don't have to take this off, take all the bikes off, that whole mess. We can just simply unscrew these six bolts really quick, slides right off, we're good to go. Thank you to Matthew Coden for that excellent solution to that problem. All right, we're getting all hitched up. We've had a very busy morning packing it's lunchtime on lunch day. Can it be a little bit more stressful? Oh. All right, well, last year went a little smoother than this year. <laughs> but we're ready, I think. Is the house locked? No, because I have to do the car thing and get the keys out and pack the car in for the Subaru, both Subarus. start than we anticipated but not terrible uh, our first stop should be just a few hours away we're gonna try to find something around Cuba New Mexico so a short first day since we're sort of warming up and getting our sea legs back but yeah in pretty good spirits this is the beginning of a great eight-week expedition to the coast
this little tire minder, tire pressure sensor that we have right here in the cab. So we can check our tire pressure anywhere, anytime. We found a spot just outside of Cuba and Lou's gonna pull it around uh, under some ponderosa pines. Mr. Anderson block. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's level. This is kind of cool, huh? Oh, this is all cool. <laughs> I'm all happy. Are you all happy, Soren? Well, that really was kind of a short and sweet travel day, but we've got a pretty nice spot and there's some big ponderosas here. We should be getting some afternoon shade here in just a few. I'd love a San Pellegrino. Well, it's kind of nice to have a short travel day, get to chill and relax. It would be nice if we were at a lake right now. I'd get my paddle around. Yeah. Soon. I'm looking at um, some options for us along the way. morning. Hear the breeze in the ponderosas. This is what it's all about. So yeah, this was a perfect little short stop overnight. Uh, not anything spectacular. We're going to go look for something a little more fun tonight. It cooled off really nicely. It's only like 58 degrees right now, so it's really fresh. We're already hitched up and everything's still kind of in its place. So uh, we'll be hitting the road here pretty soon and off to find more adventures. Thank you. 